taking a closer look at why thieves across Southeast Texas are targeting catalytic converters. Listen to Mayor Turner's take. People are bringing these catalytic converters to these businesses by, you know, five, six, the dozens. But come on now, common sense should tell you that they didn't get a, a legitimate way. And so what we want to do as city of Houston is, is put forth an ordinance, and I've asked legal uh, to work on it, that you can't resell these catalytic converters inside the city of Houston. It takes crooks just minutes to steal these devices off of vehicles. Our Steve Campion is live in Montrose. He joins us now with more information about how this is happening and the role that scrappers play in this. Steve? Good afternoon. It's actually astonishing when you pause and think about where in the world are they selling all of these catalytic converters? You know, I spoke with one no, well-known Houston scrapper, and he told me that he doesn't buy a lot of them nowadays because there's too many requirements and there's simply just too much trouble. He showed us firsthand why thieves are going after your converter. As we walk back into C&D scrap metal on Houston's northwest side, Dennis Lavage shows us the catalytic converters he's purchased. What are we looking at? Well, this will give you an idea of how few of these that we buy. Most are from vehicles sold for scrap because buying them from a seller requires detail after detail. And Lavage isn't buying anything he suspects was stolen. The amount of paperwork and that's due is just not feasible for us. It's not something that we specialize in. I don't think we've bought a dozen converters in the past two, three months. On Eyewitness News, we've shown you example after example of just how quick crooks can cut out the pollution control devices from vehicles. This is the reason why. And you'll notice that there's a cone and a cone. They call this a honeycomb. And inside this cone are all those elements, are those metals, rhodium, platinum, and palladium. What is Harris County doing to try to, to fight this problem? It's a huge problem, and for various reasons, things going on around the world, the price of precious metals in the catalytic converters has gone up so much. We're seeing around a 400% increase in the thefts of those catalytic converters. In an interview with us, Harris County Judge Lena Adago called on statewide regulations addressing how recyclers can buy the cats. While she suggested lawmakers get to work in Austin, Lavage says he thinks more needs to be done on the streets. I'm not going to be bashful about that. We do need that regulation at the state level. I have no reason to believe that's something that my state colleagues would, would, oppose, would be opposed to. Obviously, we need the legislature to convene. People are going to get away with doing this unless they're caught doing it. And so what some point out is this idea that if you make a rule here in Houston or you make a rule in Jersey Village, then these people will just go to other areas that don't have the rules. That's why you heard the county judge say, listen, we need the state to tackle this issue. And what's so frustrating about this is while thieves might just get a couple of hundred dollars for those stolen cats, you know, if you've been victimized, if you've had one cut off from your vehicle, it could cost you thousands of dollars in repairs. Reporting live in Montrose, Steve Campion, 13 Eyewitness News.